before we get too carried away. Let's see how that crank sits on there now. Not gonna lie, it's not great. Right then, welcome to part two of the cheap bike build off. If you've missed last week's video, I suggest you stop right now, uh, hit the link that's here or below somewhere uh, and watch part one to kind of catch you up with what we're doing in this video. Um, but this is the second part to a cheap build off competition or challenge that was set by Max, uh, the mullet mechanic, this guy here. Uh, he uh, asked me and a bunch of other Instagram kind of dudes to kind of get involved in it. Uh, these guys here. Uh, and then we even opened it up to you guys as well. So um, if you are doing the challenge, and I have had some messages from some of you that are doing it, so thank you. Um, but make sure you are tagging the ins on Instagram uh, the hashtag cheap bike build off. Why do I struggle saying that when it's involving the hashtag? But this is part two. So uh, in the last video, uh, we focused on just prepping the frame, making it look as nice as possible, uh, using some tea cut and some cleaning products just to kind of clean everything up. Uh, I even spent a load of time on the BB, making it absolutely mwah, uh, to find out that, um, well, I'm not using it on this project now. Uh, we were using a different BB, which we'll talk about later on in the video um, but I did ask you to put in comments to see if you could work it out uh, this was the uh, I think there's a couple of comments that actually got it right but this was the first one so if this is you well done congratulations you were right uh, but we'll get on to that later on in the video another comment I want to address from the, the previous video uh, was this one here about the cargo bike uh, you did catch a little glimpse of it in the shed uh, uh, and someone did notice it and asked about it. The reason I stopped building that bike uh, was simply the fact that I bought the bigger cargo bike. The reason I bought that was because my daughter's very, very young and isn't quite ready for like kind of the bigger bikes and kind of being on back of bikes and seats and stuff. The cargo bike is really like enclosed and the seat's really good so it felt safer. Um, it doesn't mean I'm not building it. Uh, in, so much so i think i'm probably going to finish it next month so in a few videos time we'll get the car bike back out and we will get it done so never fear i've i don't abandon projects i just sometimes stop and i have to come back to them so if you're interested in seeing the rest of the cargo bike, uh, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you haven't seen the cargo bike, uh, I do suggest you hit this playlist up here uh, with the previous videos. We painted it, we did some cool stuff. Um, it was quite the project that needs to be finished. But moving back on to today uh, and kind of where we left off in the last episode, which was uh, like this. Um, we polished it up, we kind of got this, the, the fork all kind of re-greased. Uh, we messed around that BB for ages for no real reason. Um, and then we left it at like that. Uh, so today we need to focus on uh, the main things are gonna be wheels, tires, stem, handlebars, and cranks. And I'm probably gonna run out of time to do anything else. But let's see how we get on. I keep popping the side and leaving my bloody gloves out here in the cold. And now my gloves, well, it's really cold again. So I've got a few sets of wheels knocking about in a moment. Whoops. Um, but I'm not 100% sure which one I'm gonna put on. I don't know what, this, oh. What's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Well, that's good. We're only gonna put seven on this bike, so. Stop at your belly. That wheel needs too much work, so we ain't gonna do that. This is the one that came with the bike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is, by looks of things, an aftermarket wheel. Non-branded, potentially, because this is a, another Shimano Parallax that also came with the bike, at the front. Um, so I think these were probably the wheels that it came with. Let's see what else I've got. So this is my wheel and frame storage, which uh, as you can see is uh, reasonably full at the moment. But in here somewhere, there is a set that came on something. I'm not even sure what it was now. Hmm, this was one of the ones I was thinking. That hub looks nasty as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
or is there anything else? That's 700C, I don't want that. So that's what we've got. It's basically that, this one, or the one that I've already got over there, which is, looks like it's cleaner and more in better conditions. So let's... All right. Let's take the chain off, because I don't know if we're going to use the chain. As well as making this as cheap as possible, I also want it to be as easy as possible. That's rubbing. Oh, that's, that's probably why. That looks true. Okay, let's see if we can clean this up. Yes. Right, first things first, I want to see if I can get this cassette off, because I have one that's brand new that cost me like three quid on some mad sale somewhere that I've had for ages now. So I feel like it might as well go on this build, as it's super cheap. I think that slipped, that never came off that easy. Yeah, that slipped. Oh, come on. I'm very cold. My hands are cold, I can barely feel a fit. Oh, it did, it did, it did work. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Dork disc and all. All right, we'll put that down there for a minute. How about that? I did not expect that to happen. I don't particularly want the service's wheel. Um, mainly the fact that because I'm so cold, if I open this, this hub up, the bearings are gonna go everywhere and I'm gonna lose them forever. So let's see what we can do with mechanic in a can. That's what I'm gonna call this for now on. <laughs> Oh no, we're coming to the end of that. Can you even see that, is that in shot? Probably not. I say it all the time, most maintenance issues is because your bike's dirty, it's not broken. There we go. I am the king of getting away of things. <laughs> There's no play. That spins nicely now. Well, you need a bit of penetrating oil. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that's smooth, but it's also not bumpy. Generally, it feels like you're gonna have rough terrain if it's really bad. Oh, should I just open it up? You're probably saying yes right now. Just open it. I don't know if you can hear that. That, that wheel was silent a minute ago. Now we're talking. I mean, that looks pretty damn good. Seeing how it looked a minute ago. Part of me wants to keep the reflector on the wheel. Huh, we'll see. I'm just taking the tire off so I can clean it a bit better. It was full of water. So how long that's been sat. But uh, yeah, it's a little crossy in there, so I'm gonna clean inside the rim as well. I quite like using wire wall on wheel spokes. Um, learned that from the Maroon Man on Instagram. Uh, but I don't have any of that, so I'm gonna try a little bit of scotch pad. It'll do the same thing, I think. Mm. Sort of takes a little bit of dullness out, they're not loads, if I'm honest. <laughs> that spoke's real rusty. But... Mm. 
Nah, it'd be alright. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, that's no way near as true as I thought it was a minute ago. Oh. What I am going to do, I think I've got some reasonably new skewers upstairs somewhere that I took off something. Oh, I can't find those, but for now. Now, I am not a wheel man. I'm not very good at adjusting wheels. I'm not really good at keeping them true. But I feel like it could give it a little tweaking. Not the right size. It's not the right size. <laughs> See my point? Let's find. Just put a little bit of tension in all the spokes. Just a little bit. Welcome back. The battery keeps going in uh, my camera uh, because it's extremely cold outside for my camera. It's not that cold, it's three degrees, but it's enough that it's uh, really upset. In the meantime, I've cleaned this wheel. This wheel's nice and true-y. That one's true-y. Enough for the build. And uh, it's time to put some tires on. The tires I'm choosing are actually um, Billy Bonkers, uh, which are not cheap tires. I've had these in my shed for a year, maybe longer. Um, so I feel like they deserve to go back on a bike. Um, I think I probably paid about 20 to 30 pound a tire, but they're quite worn. They're, all the tread left on them, they're, they're, they're absolutely fine. But compared to a brand new tire, they're worn, they've been used. Sidewalls are a little bit dirty and stuff. Um, so I'm going to say they're probably like worth half the price at least. So let's say £30 on top of the budget. Wow, that crept up quick. I knew it was going to be the tyres. I'm putting new inner tubes in there as well because I'm not mental. I'm not going to put 30 year old inner tubes in. Uh, which way do I want this tyre to go? That way I think. The inner tubes, I buy inner tubes constantly on any website that has them on for sale. Did you just fall? Oh, you little. Get back on the rim. So, yeah, inner tubes, I buy them anytime I can on websites. On our offer, I reckon these cost me about two quid each. It's an extra four pounds. Potentially less, but I want to try and be fair. He doesn't want a seat at all. I mean, it'll probably creep into place, but I also don't want to blow my head off of it in a second unless I put it near my face. I'll be back in a minute. I still can't get out the seat correctly. As you can see, I've taken my coat off. That's how uh, hard it is. So this time, let's break a little bit of soap around the rim. This spot I'm going to do to that one in a minute, but the um, old tyres were stuck on quite hard, so it's probably that. Oh, I need to, which way we're going? Uh, that's the one. I mentioned earlier on in this video, I think, at some point, uh, that this wasn't, this, this was like an aftermarket rim. It was different from the original one. It's not. Um, it just doesn't have a logo on it. I've checked it a little bit more. It is the same. It probably is the one that shipped through the bike all that time ago. I've got to say, I absolutely adore these uh, Billy Bonkers, the bronze on the sill wheel. I've got a lot, most of my nice wheels are black. Um, I do like a silver wheel, it looks cool. Pop a little air in and make it easier to get in the wheel. I didn't do that last time. Not that you have to, and I don't think that's why I'm having trouble seeing it. It's just that uh, I didn't really think of it that time. That's seating very nicely. Ah, it's more like it. It's a little bit of soap. Uno. Ah. I haven't found any other skewers that aren't like crazy expensive. This one's technically free because it came for another wheel. I think I can include that for free. I'm gonna. 
Uh, I'm just going to try and clean it up a little bit. It's a bit better. It's mainly this bit, to be honest. Here's a crusty one. Yeah. Nice. Ah, actually, before I do that, I need to, uh, let's get this cassette on. So I've had this for God knows how long, years, picked up for a project, never used it. I know it cost me less than 10 pounds. I think it was like four, five max, but it's a nice seven speed cassette, shiny and new. Let's get it on. Nice bit of grease. Ah. Lovely. I have no idea if you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm just struggling to... Ah, there he is. Is he? There. That's the one. Why am I finding this so hard today? I know why. It's because it's cold. My fingers are cold. Everything's cold. We all know the easiest way to do this is put the locking ring on the tool. See? Straight away. Sometimes I amaze myself how hard I make things for myself. Ugh. Cool, that goes, doesn't it? Everybody's favourite part. Let's wheelie make this a bike. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. And if you're also into puns, may I suggest you head over to saveoldbikes.com because uh, we have plenty of stickers with puns on. For example, this one. It's a nice rack. <laughs> and the warning sticker. This is easily the most popular sticker I've ever made. Um, I've got a fair amount of them at the moment. As soon as they're out, I'll order some more, so they'll always be around. Uh, but this one is the uh, warning. This bike was built for fun. Please ride irresponsibly. Uh, if you want to check out the stickers that we have at the moment, um, the Save Old Bike stickers are coming back. Everybody asked about them last week and give me some colours suggestions, so thank you. Uh, they'll be back soon. Um, but yeah, head over to saveoldbikes.com and um, support the channel. Thank you. I have a word. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so I've just been going through the shed looking for some parts, the last couple of parts that we need really. Excuse me. Uh, Drivetrain stuff. Essentially, I've got this mini, my, my, my Xim, Mixim. I don't know how or what they think the business is called. This is a, an Amazon special. Um, that I can't remember what I got it for now, but it was like, 15 pounds it's seen some stuff so i think it's fair to put it on the list for like maybe a fiver it's worth nothing because i spent more i paid more than it was should have been retailed out anyway but you know i'm not putting the bash guard on there because everybody hated that when i did that on the bike so we'll leave him down there uh, and then I've also found these DMX pedals. Uh, D, oh, DMR, sorry. Uh, these are, oh, plus, they, mm, they might need a little bit of work on their mind. These came free with a bike. Um, and I'll know why. But chain ring, this is one, I don't even know where I got it from, but it looks at the branding, Amazon, I imagine. Um, but I think this will look quite nice with the blue. I might. I wonder if I just put it on backwards. Is there such thing as backwards? That might look a bit cooler. Should we try that? Chainring bolts. Uh, I definitely only have two <laughs> matching, and then three matching on that one over there. I don't know if you can see it in the shot. Yeah, that that race face has got three bolts in it. I don't know why I've got no bolts in my chain rings. Oh, 
excuse me. Hopefully I get to cut out all this sniffing. My nose is so runny, it's so cold. That doesn't feel like it's gonna tighten up enough. It's not biting, because there's, no, that's not going, right, okay, let's see if we can get these race face ones to work. If I can get three of them to work, I reckon I could find one more chain, uh, one more bolt somewhere. Let's just test that first one first. The um, race face, these black bolts, I bought these somewhere on an offer. Very, very cheap. They were like two pounds a set. So I've got loads of them. So hopefully I can find a fourth. This uh, BB here, oh, I should probably say my battery died and uh, I finished the crank. So this is the crank that we're gonna put on there. Found some black bolts, very happy about that. But the old BB that's on there at the moment is uh, the wrong size. It's gonna, the chain ring's right out here. We need it somewhere in the middle. So we need a new BB. So after all that work, cleaning that BB and making it all sparkly and nice, uh, we've got to remove it. To say I'm annoyed about it is an understatement. Luckily, I have one. Um, otherwise, this would be way sadder. It um, runs reasonably smooth. <sighs> the sun is actually setting right now. Uh, so I am definitely going as fast as I can to try and get what I wanted to achieve today done. Before we get too carried away, let's see how that crank sits on there now. Not gonna lie, it's not great, but it will definitely work. Before it gets dark, I'd like to get the handlebars on, the cranks, the derailleur maybe, and a chain. I don't think I'm gonna get the brakes on, and I'm definitely not gonna be able to uh, do the uh, indexing and all that malarkey. Whoa. What happened then? They go well. Okay, so this is the stem, which I think I've already shown. It's a crusty boy, but we like that. I'm gonna stick with our new techniques. Just give it a little. It's a little bit one of them. Really? It's a little bit one of them. I kind of want the rust on there, to be perfectly honest, but um, we also want to be able to sell this bike afterwards. If it's too crusty, no one's going to want it. That sun is going very quickly. Oh, I like that. It's just right, right amount of crust. Make sure it's all greased up, especially when we're using crusty parts. I think that's going to look swell. Ooh. I mean, I like that. I don't know if anybody else will like that. I think that's cool. Okay then, one of my favorite parts of the build, which I think I've said several times, but uh, I mean it this time, is some handlebars. These are a little bit dirty and grubby. Let's give them a little bit of white now. Have a word. That looks sick. Now this is a, I want to say it's 17, 16, 17 inch frame, so it's not huge, but um, that stem and handlebar rise will make it quite comfortable for a lot of different riders. They're definitely not in the right place, but I'm digging it. Put some pedals on. It's a little bit jammed, not really loose. That might help loosen up a little bit. Yeah, that feels a bit better already. Not a perfectly good work stands that I can uh, change height of. Do I do that? No. Just bend my knees, don't I? One more pedal, please. Way worse. I think they're the sort of things that probably do ship quite tight and then they'll loosen up over time. Plus DMR, make a lot of jump bikes. So, uh, you know, you don't want them spinning too fast anyway. 
just spent a very, very long time putting this stupid thing on this very nice saddle. Um, but I think the brown charred spoon is going to look absolutely phenomenal on this bike. So that's what we're going to go for. That's weird. It doesn't actually go down properly. Come on. There he is. The microphone just went. So now I've got to talk to the camera here. But um, I think that's it for now. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is coming out pretty nice so far. Budget-wise, getting right to the edge. So in the previous video, we tallied up to 34 pounds. Um, today, uh, the bonkers I'm putting at 30 pounds. Then the tubes are four. Chain ring I'm putting is three pounds just because it's it's trash. It was probably a fiver new anyway. Uh, the bolts were two pounds. Uh, the crank I'm putting at five pounds. I think I went through a load of receipts and stuff. I think it was probably about fifteen pounds, maybe less. And again, it's trash, so I think it's probably a fair price. Cassette cost me four pounds. Uh, the bars, uh, I think they actually cost me about eight or nine pounds. But um, they've been on a few bikes, so I reckon five pounds is a fair price for them now. The stem is 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 crusty so it's like worth like three quid i reckon bb again has been in tons tons of bikes it was probably like 10 pounds new so i'm gonna go see three pounds so that brings us to a total currently to 93 pounds which isn't too bad apart from two things one is uh the saddle uh the charge spoon um it's worth about 20 pounds which would pretty much complete the t the, the the tally it would it would be everything um and we still have to put a chain on it the brakes grips cables derailleur uh, 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 brake levers i mean th there's a bunch left so there's a couple of things i want from you uh firstly how much do you <laughs> price a charged spoon that has done many miles uh, it actually was the one i used for ride london so i did 100 miles on it at least plus i used it for years before that um so how much should i price that for now uh, and then number two is kind of like i need to cut some costs i think the obvious answer here is the is the tires um i could save myself 30 pounds just from re removing the tires um that's probably about it. I think I'm gonna have to remove the tires and put something cheaper on there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, the main thing is the charge spoon. I'd quite like to keep the charge spoon on there just because it's kind of one of my signatures, but um, I definitely have some super cheap seats. So I'm interested to see what's the charge spoon worth after it's done hundreds of miles uh, and it's been on my butt. Maybe more, who knows? You may know this already, but uh, if you don't, I've started a second channel. Um, it's called Second Life Retro. Um, me and my friend Rob are actually going to be doing it, so it's not just going to be videos from me, it's going to be videos from him as well. Um, but we're going to we're starting off by modifying Game Boys. Uh, we're both really into Game Boys and technology, uh, and we've been doing it for a little while. So we figured, why not we just put those together and start making some more YouTube videos. Um, you guys are always saying you want more content from me. I have more bike-related content coming i want to try do more videos a week um but i'm also doing this project here so it's going to be linked at the end if you want to go and check out one of the videos from there there's only one there so far uh where we uh i modify a original dmg game boy and bring it into 2024 of USB C charging so very different from this channel i'm not going to link them too often but um as it's brand new and some of you might be into it i thought i'd let you know so if you're interested in that uh, it'll be linked in a few seconds um but if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button for this and if you can't wait for next week's video i suggest this one here it's a particularly good one